in this module, we shall look at a real life example of a sukuk. The sukuk which we are going to look into that was actually issued by the government of Pakistan to raise some funds. The underlying asset was M2 motorway. So, government of Pakistan as you know owns all the roads and motorways. M2 motorway is not an exception. So, government decided to raise some money by way of issuing a sukuk which required an asset and this M2 between Lahore and Islamabad was used as an underlying asset for this sukuk issuance. Of course, government of Pakistan had an option to issue a bond, a conventional bond, but at that point in time, the government decided to use a Sharia compliant means of raising more money. Hence, it was decided by Ministry of Finance to issue a suku. Now, government of Pakistan, as I said, uh, owns the motorway M2. In order to structure the deal, an SPV was set up. This SPV was actually named the Third Pakistan International Sukuk Company Limited. In previous modules, I mentioned that the SPV is normally domiciled in an offshore jurisdiction. But in this case, Pakistan decided to set up this company onshore. So, this was not an offshore structure. So, government of Pakistan set up an SPV and named it the Third Pakistan International Suku Company Limited. The asset, the motorway asset was actually sold to this SPV. I must clarify that this SPV was not owned by the government. Ye jo SPVs hoti hai, special purpose vehicles, they are run in accordance with a trust deed. जो trustees होते हैं उनका मुकम्मल control होता है और SPV के trustees they work for the benefit of the investors and not for the benefit of the obligor. तो ये government of Pakistan के लिए काम नहीं करते और उसके interest के लिए नहीं काम करते बल्के ये काम करते हैं for the interest of the investors. So this motorway was sold to this SPV, which was effectively controlled by the investors. And this motorway, of course, government of Pakistan wanted to continue to use motorway. So, this motorway was leased back to the National Highway Authority, which is a government body. So, this is how this sukuk was structured. Isme light baat bhi kar lete hain. कुछ लोगों ने पाकिस्तान के मीडिया में कहा कि पाकिस्तानी गवर्नमेंट तो अपने एसेट्स ही बेच रही है और फॉरेनर्स को बेच रही है इट वाजंट द केस वी विल सी हाउ दिस वुड वर्क द थर्ड पाकिस्तान इंटरनेशनल सुकू कंपनी लिमिटेड एक्चुअली इशूड द सुकूक सुकूक सर्टिफिकेट एंड दीज सुकूक सर्टिफिकेट्स वर बाय वर बॉट बाय द इन्वेस्टर्स most of them they were international investors. So, technically speaking, the investors, international investors included, they became owners of the motorway. However, this issue was discussed in detail when the sukuk was being structured. Sharia committee's view was that from Sharia viewpoint, the international investors they should own the asset jo ke ab own kar bhi rahe hain however a new clause was put in the documents which said that although investors would own the asset but they would not have full recourse to it full recourse ka kya matlab hai ki agar government of pakistan paise nahi deti wapas to phir ye investors is motorway ko 
बेच के अपने पैसे पूरे नहीं कर पाएंगे बल्कि कोई और तरीका अपनाएंगे तो इन दिस केस इन दिस सुकूक वन बिलियन डॉलर्स वर रेज फ्रॉम इन्वेस्टर्स मेनली इंटरनेशनल इन्वेस्टर्स एंड दैट मनी वॉज यूज बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान इन दिस प्रोसेस ऑफकोर्स द इंटरनेशनल इन्वेस्टर्स दे बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम द रेंटल ऑफ द मोटरवे एम टू विच actually was their return on their investments so this is this is actually a structure in which an asset is used this company would sell this asset to another company a would sell and then of course after some time it would buy it back after the financing period is over it would buy back that asset but around this structure what would happen effectively these uh, investors see they would be giving money to this party a and they would be receiving that money plus something back so this is a very short kind of summary of this sukuk structure asset ki movement hoti hai और इसके अराउंड पैसे की मूवमेंट होती है इसको जब लोग देखते हैं तो कुछ लोग ये कहते हैं जी कि वो ये क्या बात हुई एसेट आपने बेचा फिर आपने खरीद भी लिया पैसे आपने वन बिलियन लिए और वन बिलियन प्लस रिटर्न वापस कर दिया तो दिस इज लाइक ए शैम एक्चुअली दिस इज नॉट लाइक ए शैम दिस इज अ जेन्यून ट्रांजेक्शन वाई द एसेट इज सोल्ड asset is sold because it serves as a collateral collateral se bhi badi cheez ban jati hai in case of collateral the ownership of the asset remains with party a if default occurs phir us collateral ko bech ke paise pure kiye jate hain isme to give added kind of assurance to the investors the party a obligo sells that asset puts that asset in an spv jiske upar uska koi control nahi hota aur kehti hai ki agar hum paise wapas na kar sake to ye asset tum bech ke apne paise pure kar le so from this view point from financial and legal view point this is a very tight structure in many ways it is a lot better than a conventional bond structure which doesn't give that kind of assurance to the investors